with One UI 8.5 seemingly still a little bit away, I want to lock in on one particular feature, the quick panel. And I want to compare how it was on One UI 8 to what it is now on One UI 8.5. Well, not now, because it's not out yet. Welcome back to Sam Mobile TV. You're here with Daniel. And I just really wanted to put together a video that showcases the difference from One UI 8's quick panel to One UI 8.5 because it's going to be a massive leap forward or massive shift in how you use it because before it was fixed, now it's customizable. As you can see visually straight away, I've already customized mine to look and feel a lot different, but I want to change it back to stock so we can show you how to customize it from the start and sort of showcase the limitations that the current version of One UI 8 has got. So we go into the settings, go into panel settings, and we can go to reset panel layout, hit reset. We're back to default out of the box for One UI 8.5. I really actually started to get annoyed with this one on One UI 8 because the way you can customize things on 8.5, I automatically know, oh, I don't want to use that. I really want to move that. I really want to make that smaller, but I can't on One UI 8, but I know I can over here. So let's show you One UI 8's quick panel limitations. So if I hit edit here, as you can see, all you can really do is change the order. So I could move the play music to here. I could move the Wi-Fi down to there. I can move the remote a little bit further down. It's all sort of, that's it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know what else to show you. You can edit the actual toggles within the expanded quick panel should you want to and add stuff in. You've got the extra options down here, but honestly, that's the limitations. That is all you can do. And that's the quick panel. Shifting over to 8.5, this is where the fun can start to take place. So if I hit the edit toggle here, immediately you get the touch and hold to change order, but you see extra things. You can see the delete button. So I don't use modes or nearby devices. So I would like to delete them. So I did. And then you see some other toggles where you can actually slide across and make them smaller. Excellent. You can make the play music one bigger or keep it as it is. And then you can move it and drag that into the different order. But the thing is with the brightness slider, you can change it to be vertical. Same with the volume. So I can put both of them up here, Whoop, go up there. And then I can start to populate this area with different things like the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. They can also come down into here. Should I want them to with just for the purposes of this, I do. And then I can add controls in so I can jump into this and I can see, you know what? I want to have a song shirt search option there. And that's annoying. So obviously with software that's this early out, there's bugs. And as you're about to see, gone back to the start. One moment while I recalibrate and get back to where we were. Okay. I'm going to hit done just so I don't lose that. All right. Hit add a control. So anything, anything that's already in use is grayed out and can't be re-added, but anything that's sort of highlighted in white, you can put in there. So if I wanted to put in something from system apps like wireless PowerShare, chuck that in as a toggle. And just because of the, thank goodness I did that, the volatile nature, you get the idea. You get how you can add stuff in and customize and change it. And that just really changes how you use it because then you can pretty much figure out how you like things ordered and then customize to that. It just isn't possible on One UI 8, and it's kind of disappointing that that's the case. Now, a lot of people sort of said that Samsung have taken inspiration from iOS 26, and yes, they have. Here's iOS 26. You can see it's very much that similar type of thing where you can move things around and customize, and you can see you can expand toggles out. It's almost the same in that sense, but they've still got the Samsungness about it where you can expand that stuff out and change things to be vertical and horizontal. It's a bit more than just customization and adding controls. Looking forward to seeing what the final version looks like when it does drop with the Galaxy S26. 
make sure you subscribe to Sam Mobile TV for that coverage when that comes out. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Thanks.